This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace of here and welcome to JavaScript tutorial number 5. Today we're just going to be covering the confirm function. And basically to write the confirm function you just type confirm and then two parentheses and in between the parentheses basically a yes or no question. And um, if we just save that now and refresh the page, here you can see we get a box outputting our yes or no question and then two buttons, the OK and the cancel button. So what happens if we click one of these buttons? Well, if we click the OK button, it re we uh, return a true value. And if we click the cancel, of course, it's a false value. And although we're not doing anything with that value here, if I press OK, it doesn't do anything. If I press cancel, it doesn't do anything. That's because we're just confirming. We're not assigning it to a variable or something like we normally would, for instance, with a prompt function. Um, but to demonstrate this, I basically just go a little, whoops, a little code block here. If I uncomment, uncomment, sorry. And also a little demonstration. Whereas before I was using uh, a string literal, that that's um, that's characters between quotes basically. Here I'm I'm outputting the confirm box using a variable, and in the variable is a string literal. So here I've I've got a variable called question and it's defined it with a value of do you want some potatoes? And then I've just uh, defined, sorry, declared a variable called yes, no. And we haven't defined that yet either, so, but we'll get onto that in a second. And now this this is actually a good example of something I forgot in uh, my if else tutorial. Remember how we talked about how um, ifs need a condition inside that can return a true or false value? Sparking any ideas here? Uh, before we get on to that though, let me just comment this out. So we have to uh, have a condition that returns a true or false value inside this if statement. And we can pretty much do that with the confirm function. Because, remember, when we click OK, it returns a true value, so the condition inside this if statement will be true. Um, and if we click cancel, it returns a false value, so the if statement will be false. So Basically, what we're doing here is we're uh, saying if the confirm box is true, then assign yes, no a value of yes, else assign it a value of no. And we don't need to use an else if to say if it's false. Um, yeah, we, don't, we just need an else because there are only two things it can be. It can either be true, which we've tested for in this if statement, or it can be uh, false. And if it's false, then it's not true, so we just have an else. And if you, I mean, this this may seem a bit weird, like this. You're probably wondering how can we just like there's no doesn't seem like there's any condition in there. Um, well, basically, using this is the same as using this. Okay, this this statement is exactly the same as this statement. Okay, because the the only reason we can use this that just the confirm box by itself without saying equals equals true is because the confirm returns a true or false value. It can't return any value but a true or false value. And anyway, uh, to stop myself blabbing on about it, let's just refresh this page here. And as we can see, we, we've got a confirm box saying, do you want some potatoes? And we can either select OK or we can select cancel. And if I just press OK, and here you can see yes has been printed on the page. And why is that? Well, if we take a look up here, um, confirm results a true value, so this if statement is true, and it assigns yes, no, a value of yes. And then, uh, we just simply document dot write the yes, no variable. And because we selected OK and made this if statement true, yes, no had a, va a value of yes, and then when we output it, it just output yes, like so. And if I press F5 again and press cancel, we get no. Okay, so this has just been a quick tutorial on the confirm function by ASAP12 over and out.